the Honorable Professor Dr. Mircea Dimitri. Yes. Thank you very much for the honor of joining us at the ICD, the Institute for Cultural Diplomacy here in Berlin, and also very many thanks for your keynote speech. Uh, my colleague and I would like to ask you five questions just to get your thoughts and uh, your opinion on some very salient issues. Sure. I will let uh, Ren proceed with the first. Sure. Okay, go on. Philosopher who is both a professor of logic and rector at the University of Bucharest. How do you judge these kinds of initiatives uh, aiming to promote international cooperation? Yeah. Well, I guess it's uh, both a timely initiative and uh, a very innovative and original one. Uh, the University of Bucharest, uh, whose rector I am uh, currently. Uh, is already engaged in a project together with uh, the Institute for Cultural Diplomacy. We are going to develop an MA program in globalization <coughs> and cultural diplomacy. And I think that is very important for uh, students at the MA level and at the more advanced level to be exposed to diverse uh, uh, cultures and ideas and thoughts. And this is how we can uh, become uh, more tolerant and better persons. Have there ever been any philosophers who spoke of cultural diplomacy ways to achieve it um, in your field of study? Well, not per se, but uh, the underpinnings of the idea in cultural diplomacy, the roots of the thoughts and this program are philosophical roots. So there are some views in philosophy ancient, modern and contemporary philosophy which are conducive to the idea that through culture people could uh, know each other better and uh, could understand uh, each other's uh, motives of their behavior. And if you understand very well the motive, then you can somehow predict the behavior and you understand better why people are acting in a way such that uh, you are not actually uh, in the position to think that uh, the other people are not rational, for instance. You understand that people, they have, they, they have their own uh, motives for acting and for being rational. So that's very important when you interpret other people and other cultures and you understand better uh, their uh, cultural outcomes and endeavors. Are there cultural or economical programs which your government is currently encouraging just to foster youth education and development? Yes, of course there are. <coughs> uh, not only at my own university, actually there are some national programs, uh, especially programs uh, which have a sort of interdisciplinary flavor. And they are organized such that students coming from political science, history, sociology, philosophy, uh, work together in order to uh, understand better some political situations, some cultural uh, situations, and uh, also uh, in order to become, nowadays it's very important in Europe to become uh, citizens of the uh, European Union, and to be more present in, uh, uh, in the European Union uh, uh, situation and politics. Uh, starting from your brilliant resume, one can see that you have traveled extensively, especially for study purposes. Do you think that including mandatory periods of study abroad could work as a means to promote mutual understanding? Yeah, that is very important to study abroad when uh, you are uh, young, when you are a student. Uh, because that uh, actually uh, could uh, create a specific state of mind in which you can absorb, you can uh, make uh, as, is, as if it is yourself the culture of other people. And uh, uh, if you are exposed to diverse uh, languages and, and, uh, and cultures, it's very important, especially when you are a young student. So, Asking directly your question, I think it is very important to have those international programs and if it is possible to have them in a mandatory fashion, if there are the financial resources to support those programs, then that is very, very helpful, very important. And, uh, in light of this conference, uh, what do you wish that your government would do to further promote cultural diplomacy throughout all of Europe? Well, I guess that the Ministry of Education in Romania and also the Ministry of Culture could actually uh, support the initiative of ICD in Berlin and spread the ideas and also create some other programs, 
not only in my own university, maybe in some other major universities in the country, in Romania, which could be very beneficial for promoting the goals of the Institute, Institute for Cultural Diplomacy. Thank you so much for your time. Sure, thank you. It's an honor and privilege yes, to have you thank today. You. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you.